This is the protoclone, a robot that doesn't just look like a person, it moves like one, and it's coming to a home near you. But here's the chilling part. It's not just a servant. It's a glimpse into a future where machines could do more than we ever thought possible. Is this the dawn of the robot revolution? Or the beginning of the end for humanity as we know it? Stick around till the end, because what we will reveal next could change everything you think you know about the future of robots. You won't want to miss it. So there's this new robot called the Protoclone from Clone Robotics, and it's kind of a game changer in the world of humanoid robots. Basically, it's designed to look and move like a human, and it's way more advanced than anything we've seen before. Clone Robotics recently released a video showcasing the Protoclone in action, which quickly went viral due to its strikingly lifelike movements. In the video, the robot is shown suspended from the ceiling, with its artificial muscles twitching and spasming in what looks like an almost organic way. This dramatic display of motion has left viewers both impressed and uneasy, as the robot's movements appear more lifelike than what has been seen in previous humanoid robots. The unsettling twitching of the robot in the video is due to the activation of its artificial muscles, which contract and release in a similar manner to human muscles. This provides a glimpse into the robot's future potential in various real-world applications, where it could perform a range of household tasks or even assist in professional environments. How did Clone Robotics achieve this? The Protoclone robot is constructed by smashing that like button, just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, the Protoclone is built with a combination of cutting-edge materials and technologies. The robot has more than 1,000 artificial muscles, which give it the ability to mimic the complex movements of the human body. These muscles work in conjunction with over 500 sensors placed throughout the robot, allowing it to perceive its environment and respond dynamically. The sensor network plays a crucial role in the robot's fine-tuned movements, enabling it to adjust to changing conditions in real time, similar to how humans adjust their movements based on feedback from their own sensory systems. Additionally, the robot features 206 artificial bones that are made of durable polymers. These bones are designed to replicate the structure of human bones, providing the necessary support for the robot's frame. The artificial ligaments and connective tissues used in the robot's design help simulate the way a human's muscles and bones work together to create fluid, natural movements. The overall design of the protoclone gives it more than 200 degrees of freedom, meaning it has an extraordinary range of movement compared to earlier humanoid robots. The combination of these materials and technologies allows the protoclone to move with a high degree of agility and responsiveness. It can perform tasks that were once considered too complex for robots, such as picking up objects, walking, or even interacting with its environment in a way that seems natural. But when will this robot be seen in the workplace? The release of the protoclone and its accompanying video has sparked mixed reactions from the public. Some were supportive, others criticized it to no end. They said that the twitching movements in the video, while technologically impressive, have been described as unsettling leading to questions about the ethical considerations of creating robots that look and behave so similarly to humans. Some critics argue that creating machines with such human-like characteristics could blur the line between what is considered human and what is not, raising questions about the future of robotics and artificial intelligence. Clone Robotics has big plans for the protoclone beyond just serving as a curiosity or display piece. The company envisions the robot performing practical tasks that would typically require human intervention. Some of these tasks include washing dishes, folding laundry, and preparing meals. These types of household chores are often repetitive and time-consuming, making them ideal tasks for a robot designed to replicate human dexterity and movement. The company is also exploring other applications, such as using the protoclone in medical settings where it could assist with caregiving or rehabilitation. Given the robot's dexterity and agility, it might also have potential uses in industries such as manufacturing, logistics, or customer service where tasks require fine motor skills and problem-solving capabilities. So, when this robot is deployed, how much will it cost, and what will it actually be capable of achieving? The protoclone robot is expected to be priced like an affordable car, though Clone Robotics hasn't given an exact figure just yet. From what they've hinted at, it could be something that's accessible to regular consumers, especially those who are interested in bringing robotics into their homes. Of course, it'll depend on the final model and features they offer, but if it's priced like a car, that means it could be within the range of $20,000 to $40,000, possibly even higher, depending on the tech. As for what the robot can do, it's designed to perform a variety of household tasks. Clone Robotics has said it could wash dishes, fold laundry, and even prepare simple meals. With its human-like movements, it can interact with objects in the home just like a person would. 
The 1,000 plus artificial muscles and 500 plus sensors give it incredible dexterity and agility, so it can handle tasks that require fine motor skills. Think of it as a personal assistant who can take care of some of the more mundane chores. The big question is whether regular people will actually be able to buy it for their home. And from what they've mentioned, it looks like they're aiming to make it accessible to the general public. The pre-order plans later this year suggest that it will be something that anyone interested in automating their home can get. But of course, there could be limitations based on availability, demand, or potential upgrades that might come with higher-end models. While the proto-clone is definitely designed for home use, it could also have industrial applications. In fact, Clone Robotics envisions it being used in fields like caregiving, rehabilitation, and even in certain workplace environments where its precision and ability to perform tasks could be helpful. So, while it might start as a consumer product, it definitely has the potential for broader industrial use down the line. Humanoid robots are quickly becoming a reality, with companies like Tesla, Figure AI, Agility Robotics, Unitree Robotics, and Engineered Arts leading the charge. Tesla's Optimus robot, designed for tasks like grocery carrying and assembly, could cost between $20,000 and $30,000, with limited production expected by next year. Figure A Imus Figure 02 is capable of performing up to 90% of manual human tasks and is already being integrated into factories like BMWs. Agility Robotics Digit, designed for warehouse work, will be available in 2025, though it will likely be in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Unitree Robotics offers the G1 for around $16,000, aimed at household tasks and entertainment. Finally, Engineered Arts as Amica focuses on interactive experiences and research, showcasing the potential of robots in public settings. While these robots are advancing rapidly, widespread use in homes may still take time. So while all of these companies are working on humanoid robots that could affect the future, why is this robot so different? And why will it be the norm in future robotics? Clone Robotics stands out because of how deeply they focus on human-centered design. They've really studied human anatomy and movement to create robots like the Proto-Clone that can perform tasks requiring fine motor skills and agility. Their use of advanced materials like durable polymers for bones and artificial muscles also gives the robots the strength and flexibility needed for realistic movement. What's also impressive is their expertise in AI and robotics. They integrate both to create robots that can adapt to their environment and perform autonomously. The company isn't just about industrial robots. They're focused on creating machines that can be used in everyday life, like automating household chores. Plus, they're working to make their robots affordable, pricing them similarly to a car, so regular people can eventually own them. Clone Robotics' commitment to practical, accessible, and continually improving technology makes them a real standout in the robotics field. All these reasons explain why Clone Robotics is capable of designing such an advanced humanoid helper robot like the Proto-Clone. This robot is designed for everyday home use, with plans to assist with tasks like meal prep and housework. While Tesla's Optimus is intended to do similar tasks, it's still in early development and not yet as adaptable to various environments. Figure AI's robot is tailored more for factory work and manual labor, while Digit, made for warehouse environments, doesn't seem as capable of transitioning into the home setting anytime soon. In short, Protoclone is agile, human-like, helps around the house, and will be affordable. Can you see why it's scary for the other companies? Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence, one video at a time.